so I've got it in a vise. We actually use mole skin to make it so the teeth of the vise don't mark up our silver. And I don't have it super tight in here. I just have it tight enough. Just drop it in and just give it a crank to just make sure it doesn't twist. I'm gonna use the end of the hammer like a burnisher. I'm gonna hold this so that my three fingers are around here and then I have two fingers on the head. So I've got a hold of my tool, tool here and I'm gonna put all my fingers on here. I'm sometimes gonna protect my stone. I'm gonna protect my stone with my thumb sometimes, but I'm not gonna hammer this. I'm actually gonna rock and roll, but I'm gonna get it up and over so it's laying this down. I'm just gonna move around. I'm gonna go over here too. I'm gonna move around my piece. You can actually take it out, move it around, but basically, I'm taking my hammer and I'm pulling it up and over and up and over and I'm kind of wobbling it. You can also, after you've wobbled it, you can take and kind of rub and burnish and go at it that way. And go all the way around. You can also go back to the burnisher and take your burnisher and go up over the top. And I, I use as many fingers on top as possible just to control this. So we do want to have all of this that's not quite burnished yet. We do want to have that all tightened in because that is what it's going to keep it from sliding around in there. So I take the very end of my burnisher and I'm just getting right in there. I'm burping that air pocket out of there. You can see that it's got a nice, tight, there's no edge sticking out here. It's kind of like a beveled edge even. So it's nice and smooth, nice and tight all the way around. Got all the air pocket out of the edge all the way around. I can work on this a little better. Get that down. And that's how we set the stone.